Welcome to uh, Cabot Learning Federation December blog um, to look at some of the things that have been developing. Uh, today we're at King's Oak Academy. Um, you may remember the last one was uh, filmed at Walls Court, so the King's Oak Academy is uh, one of our secondary academies uh, in Kingswood. Um, and I'm talking to you today from, uh, from the art display area outside uh, Principal Ian Frost's room. Um, a lot's happened since the November blog. Uh, our Year 7 numbers uh, are known uh, for next year and uh, we are really pleased with the, the increase and the number of people that have wanted to come to our school uh, in Year 7 from, uh, from Year 6s in the community. Uh, the numbers are particularly good at Kings Oak Academy. I think they're record numbers for Year 7 next year which is, which is terrific. Um, but, our, but our numbers are up in all of our academies which is really pleasing particularly when there are yes, less year sixes uh, in, in, in the local community. So that's a really positive endorsement of what parents feel about what we're trying to do in the Cabot Learning Federation. Uh, we've also had our sixth form open evening. Uh, we currently have 513 students on roll in year 12 and year 13. Uh, and we had a fantastic evening at John Cabot Academy a couple of weeks ago, uh, where uh, year 11 students from our schools, but also from schools that are not in the Federation, came to have a look at the curriculum we're offering and, and the way that we structure our post-16 provision. Uh, and I'm again very encouraged that the deadline, which is December the 20th, of people wanting to let us know that they'd like to join us next September uh, will come and we'll see again healthy numbers uh, in excess of 500, 550 possibly in our post-16 next September. We've also created a new leadership structure within the Cabot Learning Federation. Um, now that we have 11 schools that we're working with, as well as partner schools through our Teaching School Alliance, uh, it feels important that uh, we, we think about how we lead those schools and how we add capacity to help them improve. So uh, we recently appointed two executive principals uh, into the Cabot Learning Federation to join my team. Uh, Steve Taylor, uh, who was principal at Bristol Metropolitan Academy, is now the executive principal uh, working alongside me to oversee our secondary academies. And Sally Apps, who was Steve's deputy, vice principal at Bristol Met, is now the principal there. Uh, and Mandy Milsom, who uh, is principal of Somerville, uh, Summer Hill Academy, I should say, uh, is now uh, the executive principal for our primary academies uh, and is working very closely not only with their own school at Summer Hill, but also with Frumvale and with Minerva Primary Academy as well. So that's given us uh, more uh, talent, more capacity to uh, help us meet our very ambitious targets for next summer. We've opened the windows uh, in the last 10 days for School Direct recruitment. Uh, school Direct has been a really successful project for us. Uh, we've got over 30 School Direct trainees in primary and secondary this year uh, and we're really delighted with the quality uh, of, of that cohort. Um, the School Direct group that we started 18 months ago are now newly qualified teachers in the Federation um, and at the recent inspection uh, at the University of the West of England where the HMI came to have a look at our NQTs to see about the impact of the training we were really pleased that over 85% of the lessons uh, observed of that group were either good or outstanding, which again is a real endorsement for what is a very new and very innovative model of teacher training. Uh, we continue to operate our leadership programmes um, and we are recruiting uh, at this moment for the MPQH cohorts, our senior leader and our middle leader cohorts. Uh, and again, we have over 120 people on cohort one and cohort two of those programmes. Uh, and that's our contribution, I think, to succession planning uh, and leadership development across the whole of the Southwest and not just in Bristol and in our own federation. Finally, uh, Hans Price Academy's new build is, is more than well underway. Uh, we've had our topping out ceremony uh, and we expect the building to be handed over early, probably during May or even early June, which means that we can be in there before the start of next academic year. Um, and that is something that uh, we've waited a long time for. And I know that the staff and the students and the community are really excited uh, about that project uh, and can't wait to see inside it. And for the children who go to Hans Price Academy, it's a wonderful opportunity for them to work in a state-of-the-art building um, to develop the next stage of their education. So my final message is to uh, my colleagues, to the children, to parents, to families and all of our community members, uh, I'd just like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and successful 2014. Um, when we will continue to develop our mission of collaboration for outstanding achievement.